Good day guys, thanks for visiting Richard's Corner. My name is Richard and today I've got another haul from my friends over at Valley Village here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Now if it's your first time visiting Richard's Corner, the idea of my channel is thrifty collecting, so I try to show you how you get your favorite toys, books, movies, video games, clothing, and more by trying to shop and save the thrifty way. So Valley Village is just one of the many places I go to to get these things, and I hope you guys enjoy today's haul. So, um, Today I've got some awesome clothing. I'm not sure if you saw in the thumbnail, but there are some Nike things in here, as well as a really cool toy grab bag. So why don't we start off with the clothing, okay? So today uh, I managed to find these awesome jean shorts. They're by Lee Jeans, and uh, they are they were $8.49. Uh, that sounds a little pricey for Richard's Corner, because usually I'm, you know, bragging about paying a dollar something for <laughs> the Tommy shirt like I got at um, Nearly New Shop and a few other places, right? Now, Valley Village is not as, you know, cheap as they used to be. In fact, a lot of their pricing has gone up and uh, it's, it's, you've got to sort of keep it in perspective whether or not this is good value. I mean, yes, it is more expensive than it ever used to be, but how much would a pair of Lee jean shorts cost in the store? Uh, these aren't no name, they're, they're Lee jeans, so they would probably cost I don't know, maybe 30 bucks, maybe 35. So, yeah, I'm still paying at least, you know, a quarter of what I would be paying. And I, I used a 30% off coupon. So, uh, not only was I saving just on this price, but I also saved 30% off of this as well. So, still a really good value, and I'm really in need of some extra shorts for this really hot summer that has hit uh, Winnipeg. So, that was one awesome piece. Here's another piece. This is a Nike, uh, Nike Fit uh, shirt. Really super pleased with this. This is a beautiful blue and orange. I've never seen this Nike logo before. I, I know the swoosh, but I've never seen that before. But this is a beautiful workout shirt. Uh, this is a medium shirt, so it's just my size, and it was uh, $11.49. So really, really good deal. Again, it's... it's um, um, a little expensive uh, like compared to what I usually pay but again a Nike shirt like a workout shirt could cost easily you know 60 bucks 60 bucks 80 bucks even um, even the cheapest uh, Nike shirts or even Under Armour shirts and stuff like that you'll still have to pay at least 30 to 50 bucks for them so 11.49 yes and again 30% off of this price with the discount card that is still an awesome deal so I was really happy to find that one more Nike shirt this was more expensive this is a live strong running shirt uh, this was $14.49. I actually had to like think twice. It's like, do I really want this? But you know what? Live Strong is an awesome, awesome like saying and an awesome logo. And it's it's not a shirt I have. Like I, I call it a running shirt too because it's got ventilation in in the shoulders here, so it's meant to breathe as you're running. But you can still use it as a workout shirt, which is what I'm going to do. So a really awesome shirt, $14.49. The Live Strong logo makes this easily a $60 or $80 shirt. It's not cheap. And getting it for 15 bucks, basically, minus 30%, is still an awesome, awesome value. So, yes, uh, Value Village does have higher pricing than most thrift stores, but they still are cheaper than going retail, full retail. So, I still encourage you to check it out. Um, my toy package. I paid a whole $2.99 for this package, so this is a little bit more in line with the typical Richard's Corner haul. So let's see what we got in this bundle. It's very dense, so I'm going to try to go through this very quickly uh, without dwelling on any piece. Here's a nice little Yoshi, another one of the Happy Meal Mario toys. Very, very nicely done. I love that. Put that over here. I have an Avengers series Iron Man, I think. This is about a five inch figure, so it's, it's taller than the normal three and a quarter, but it's very light plastic, so I'm not sure what series that is. I don't think it's actually from the Avengers line now that I feel it, because the Avengers line is actually more solid. But this is a really nice Iron Man figure, so not, not bad at all. Uh, looks like I have another Supergirl from McDonald's here. The hair is in ragged shape, so I'm going to have to fix that. But this one is um, from the superhero DC Superhero Girls Happy Meal Toys. But like I said, her hair is very unkept. <laughs> so, uh, but in still in fairly good condition here. Her arms are fixed, so there's no way to actually display her in a little bit more ideally. But uh, I, I do have that from that package. So unfortunately, I also got <laughs> a broken toy here. A, a penguin that obviously would be great, but it doesn't have his head. So unfortunately, he's not going to make it past this video as far as the collection is concerned. 
Uh, I've got another Sing figure here. I've hauled him many times before. Uh, I think he, he does a little bobblehead there, <laughs> so that's kind of cute. Uh, so from Sing, another Happy Meal toy. <sighs> this guy is a little bit of a generic biker guy. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him, but you know, from the 2.99 package, it take you know, it's a one one less keeper, unfortunately, but it's it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Here's another Sing figure I've got. I've got. I forget his name. I, I've hauled him before, but that's another one of the uh, the, the Sing figures there from uh, McDonald's. I got this nice Anna figure, and I'm not sure if she's missing her dress. <laughs> she's got her cloak, and her legs are exposed. But I don't think that's the look for her. I think I think Anna's supposed to have some sort of clothing. But that is an Anna figure, and it's a retail figure uh, from um, from Frozen. So that's really nice. I, I really like that. Uh, it's a very cute little figure, but like I, I'm, I'm thinking she's supposed to be wearing something more than just that. So, <laughs> um, oh, nice. Okay, so I've got some. I've got a, a stormtrooper. This is from uh, that tabletop game. I've, I've hauled this before, hauled figures like this before, and uh, so that's really nicely done. I love the monochromatic look on them, and it, it begs to be painted. If I was really good at that, I might give it a go. It's, it's nice, and I have a few of these, so it wouldn't hurt to just give one a try, right? So that's cool. Uh, here's a Smurf from the Happy Meal Toys. I've got one of those. I've got many of these. I don't know if I have the artistic Smurf, but I, that's cool. Uh, another Sing figure, our awesome host. And I don't know if he talks still. Do you think he does? No, I don't know if he does. <laughs> I think I turned it on or off. I'm not sure. I think it's on. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He does talk still. <laughs> I'm always a fan of, of the Sing toys because they still have a lot of their battery life with them. Oh, nice. I've got another Imaginex figure here, an awesome DC uh, Aquaman. This is based on the old comic, which is really cool. Nice, nice orange and yellow and green there. That's beautiful. And let's see, what else do I have in here? Lots of little pieces here. Last little pieces here. I've got one of the uh, characters from, uh, I believe this is from Inside Out. I think that's Afraid or Fear or something like that. And then I've got, well, this odd guy. I'm not sure who this is, but that's really cute. I love that. Do you know who this is? Because I don't, but that looks really neat. I love that. Okay, cool. I've got another Smurf, Happy Meal Smurf, which is nice. And then I also got another little Anna. This one has like a, almost like a playing piece base, so it makes me think it's part of a game. But I love that. That's a really cute one. See, see what I mean by the dress? And where's, where is she? So she's obviously missing the dress, <laughs> so uh, it's, that's unfortunate. It's cute, but I, I don't think it's meant to look like that. I think it's supposed to be like that. So, And then the last one I have here is a webkin, and it's Mach 1 Turtle. <laughs> it's Mach 1 Turtle. I'm going to open him up. I want to I see this up close. There's a, I've never seen webkins. I've, I've seen webkins like stuffies, but I've never seen the webkins figures. Okay, there we go. When it, they call him Mach One Turtle, I'm trying to figure out why, but I, I see the um, I, I, I see the goggles on here. Sorry for the crackling. There we go. Look at that. He's like he's like traveling at, at Mach One, I guess, with those awesome aviator goggles and and the pilot's hat and stuff like that. Really super cute. That's cute. I don't have a lot of cute figures like that. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> So, what do you think your chase is for today? I, I have to admit, these Nike shirts are probably a chase for this haul today. But if it comes to my toys, uh, I would have to say that some of these cuter ones are actually more, more appealing. Like this, uh, this obscure one and this Mach 1 Turtle, I think those are my cute ones today. I think those are my, my little chases today. But let me know. Uh, the comments are there for you guys to leave comments and feedback. Let me know what your favorite part of this haul is. And I so appreciate you guys visiting uh, to check out this nice little Value Village haul today. Again, it is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for now. I'm going to wish you happy hunting and happy collecting. And hope all your finds in the Thrifty Wild are equally awesome. Now, if you haven't already, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and stay in touch with me so you know what is new and happening here on this channel. And also hit that little bell icon if you could, so that you're instantly notified when something new has been uploaded. Again, all of your likes, your subs, your comments, your love and support for Richard's Corner is so appreciated. It doesn't go unnoticed, and I love you guys for it. Thank you so much for it. It helps me drive forward on this little YouTube journey that I have the pleasure of sharing with you guys, my awesome viewers. So thank you so much for helping uh, support my channel today. Again, it is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for now. I'm going to see you <laughs> next time. We'll see you uh, in another video, guys, here in Richard's Corner.